Hi, my name is Nancy Johnson, and this is Let's Paint with Miss Nancy. My friends and I today are going to go from a blank canvas to a finished oil painting in about 20 minutes, and we're going to show you how to do this. It's fast, it's easy, it's fun, and we would like to invite you to paint along with us. So get out your brushes, your canvas, and paints, and come and paint with us. First thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to introduce you to my friends. So let's start right here. Hello, my name is Austin. I am eight. I'm nine years old. Um, my name is Michaela, and I'm ten years old. Hi, my name is Joshua, and I'm nine years old. Hi, my name is Caitlin, and I'm six years old. And these are my friends. Okay, so let me explain to you what we're going to do today. We're going to do a wet on wet oil painting method. It's step by step, so it's very fast, very easy. This was made popular on TV by Bob Ross, William Alexander, but probably the most famous artist that uses this technique or used this technique is Monet. And I'm sure everybody has heard of Monet. So it's been around for a long time. It's wonderful. If you've never painted before, this is the technique you need to use to start painting. So what we're going to do today, we start with a, we're actually doing, this is the painting that we're doing today. And it's of a real waterfall. It's called Running Eagle Falls. It's in Glacier Park, Montana. I did it from a photograph. One of the fun things about this type of painting, if you have a photograph that you really like, you can change it. This was a daytime picture that I took last year when I was up there. But I wanted a night scene, so I changed it and I made it into a night scene. I like blues, so I decided to make the painting mostly in blues. It's your world. It's your canvas. You can do whatever you want. You could do this in pink, purple, any color you want. You can have it fall, spring, summer. Just have fun with this, okay? So what we started with was a black gesso canvas, which is an acrylic paint. Over that, I put liquid clear. Over that, I put a coat of phthalo blue oil paint. This is oil painting, not acrylics or watercolors. It's oil paintings. The brushes that we're going to use today are a one-inch landscape brush a fan brush, and a palette knife. So we're just going to start. Uh, the colors we're using are, we're using um, titanium white, we're using a cad yellow, and we're using sap green, and then we're using some Van Dyke brown that's just going to be for the rocks. Okay guys, you ready to paint? Yep. Let's yeah. go. Okay, big brush. Okay, we're going to do this step by step, so if you're painting along with us at home, just follow along with what we do. We're going to take our big brush, we're going to start with our sky. You're going to take your big brush, go into a little bit of white. Just a little bit, pull it out, kind of tap your brush, a little bit of white paint. Okay, I want this to be my light area of my sky, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right there with a little crisscross stroke. That's where you put your lightest area. So pop it in your sky. One of the things that I do that a lot of the other artists on television don't do, if you're painting with us at home and you don't like a tree or you don't like a mountain or a rock or whatever, I actually show you how to correct that because the kids are good, but they might not like something. And so what I do then is I come over and I will show you how to actually fix it. So if you're painting at home and you don't know how, I'll show you how to do it. These are looking good, guys. I'm going to check everybody's. A little bit more white paint right there. Yeah, Caitlin, a little bit more white right there, baby. Looks good. Awesome. Come down a little bit lower, honey. Yeah, Joshua, bring some color to your edge. Ah, you got blue paint on you here. Let me help. And if you get paint on you, baby wipes work great. There you go, baby. You knew that. I, Caitlin knew that. Okay, a little more white paint right here. Right there, baby. A little bit more white paint right there. Oh, I need more white. Yeah, use more white. Okay. Now, once you have that in, I left my brush on there. Now the light is all blue. Yeah, it's going to turn blue because there's blue already on there. All right, now once you have, once you have your paint on there, we're going to just kind of soften it down. Um, and I'm not using any more paint. Caitlin, look at me, honey, so you can see what I'm doing next. Okay, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to just kind of blend it out a little bit. Keep your strokes mostly horizontal. 
Blend it to your edges, but you want to have that nice light area right there because we're going to put our moon over it. So just blend it out a little bit. Same brush, same big brush. That's pretty. Good job, guys. You're going to want to bring paint right to your top. Caitlin, that's beautiful. Good job. Yeah, make it come to your edges. Here, watch. Let's see. Just bring it right to your edges, baby. Beautiful. Good job. Pretty young. Good job. Okay, now we're going to do a moon. You guys ready? Finger. I've got to tell you that on the brushes. So we use finger. Okay, your finger, go into a little bit of white. Finger in white. <laughs> now you're going to want to put your moon in your light area of your sky. Keep it small. We're not doing a great big one. Keep it small and try to keep it round. Pop your moon in. Just like that. And then wipe your hands off. That's good, guys. My helpers are really good, aren't they? They're good artists. Yeah. Oh, Caitlin, that's beautiful. Good job. A little bit wider, honey, right there. Mikaela, that's my beautiful. Huh? I put my moon in my lace. You did, and it's inside. beautiful. You are so good. It kind of turned a little bit of white. It's very pretty. I like it a lot. Good job. Pretty good fun. Austin, that looks good. Okay. Let's see where we're at. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually go ahead and put in, this is actually two waterfalls. Um, it's kind of unusual because it was two waterfalls that came from two different water sources there. So we're going to do one waterfall first, then we're going to put in some rocks and stuff, and then we're going to put in our extra waterfall that comes down. So we're going to do the first one, and it's a fan brush. Fan brush and white. So load a lot of white on your fan brush, a lot of white. You can just load one side if you want. But you have to have a lot of paint. It's probably the biggest mistake most people make when they paint at home, or they don't have a lot of experience painting. They don't use enough paint. Lots of paint on your brush. A lot of paint. You guys ready? Ready, honey? Okay. The waterfall, now watch, it's going to come this way. So I'm starting it right here. Start with your sky. You can't have it down here. Start, start it up here. It goes over and then whooshes down. Whoosh. You've got to make the whoosh noise. That works better if you make the whoosh noise. Whoosh. whoosh. Ah, that was a good one. Yeah. Whoosh. Whoosh. Very nice. Go back over it one time with some white. Reload your white and then go back over it. Don't touch yours. It's beautiful. Yeah, don't, don't dink in it. That's really nice. Another thing, <laughs> you don't want to dink in your painting too much because it's wet and wet. We have wet paint underneath. If you go over and over it several times, it's going to turn blue, and we don't want that. Good job, guys. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in some rocks. After we put some rocks in, we're going to put some little taffy trees at the top. But I want to put in rocks first just so we can kind of see where the trees are going to live. So palette knife. Got it? Okay, we're going to mix color. We're going to use Van Dyke Brown and a little bit of, I kind of have some, a little bit of kind of a dirty white. We're going to mix it together, but we're going to leave it marbled. You don't want to over mix. And then we're going to load our palette knife. So take a little bit of brown, guys. A little bit of brown. Find your clean spot. A little bit of white and kind of smoosh it, but leave it marbled. Smoosh it out, leave it marbled. And then pull across and get you a nice roll of paint on the edge of your knife. Put a little white in there so it's a little more marble. Yep, that looks good. Yep, let's smoosh it a little bit. Where's your paint? Oh, I like this blue color that's in it. Let's do that. That will be nice. Oh, yeah. Tell everybody that what happens if you have a mistake? What is it? There's no mistakes? No. Only happy accidents. Only happy, only happy accidents. accidents. So if you mess up something at home, if you watch me enough, you probably figure out how to fix it. I like that. That's good. Okay, everybody has their color? Okay, you have yours? Okay. Now, we have to have a little bit of a rock right here that covers up. You want your rock in front of your waterfall. So I'm taking my knife like this, and it's just a very light little touch, and I'm just kind of grazing it across the canvas. 
So, and don't go too far down because we have another waterfall, guys, right? So just kind of do that. And we have some little bushes and stuff that move in there. So pop you in some rocks. Don't dink up your waterfall, though. On this side, don't go over your waterfall. We have trees that's going to live in there in a minute, too. So let me pop mine in real quick. And then if anybody needs help, I can give them some help. There we go. Austin, those look awesome. Kind of like a job, keep going. Bring yours up a little bit higher right there, sweetie. Those look good. Let me reload your knife for you, honey. Watch. Let me help. There we go. Now do this. Whoosh. I'll water. Well, I know, but I didn't really mess it up, so just right there. Yep. Austin, it's beautiful. Let me see Kyla. Good job, honey. Bring it down a little bit longer. They look really good. Beautiful. Now do some on the other side. Don't go over and over them too much. Now put some on the other side, Caitlin. Reload your knife. You like them? Yes. Let's just leave them. Don't think in them. They're so pretty. They are very pretty, aren't they? <laughs> They're very pretty. Yep, we put your knife and a little bit more. You may have to mix a little more color, honey. If you need more color, just mix it up and make it go all the way over to your edge, Caitlin. These are pretty guys. Beautiful, good job. Okay, I'm gonna help Caitlin just really quick. So she's doing a good job. I'm just gonna do it a little bit faster for her and give her a little tiny bit of help. Watch. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Good job. There you go. That's pretty. Okay, don't need yours anymore. Uh, fan brush. Fan brush. You might want to wipe it on a paper towel. I use a dirty brush the whole painting. I think you get better results than if you try to clean in between. It just looks prettier. So, but if you want to wipe off the excess paint, just use a paper towel. Wipe your brushes off, guys and just wipe it on a paper towel, and that will remove the excess paint. Okay, fan brush, go into some more white. Try to go into the clean white. We're gonna do the other waterfall. And I am kind of skipping around on this painting because I'm using one fan brush, so we're gonna do the white first. Then we're gonna load in green and we'll do our trees. And then we'll come in and put in some bushes and stuff. So we're going to do our other waterfall. Are you ready? Okay. You guys ready? White paint. One side. Let's paint. Now watch. This one comes the opposite direction. Everybody look at me. Caitlin, look at me, honey. Okay, watch. You don't want to dink up this one. It's going to, remember how we went that way? This time it's going this way. Right like this and then whooshing down. Just like that. Whoosh. Got to do the whoosh noise. So put in your waterfall. Oh, the kind of this beautiful. Don't touch it. Good job. Yeah. And then you know that. Whoosh. Good job. Don't go over and over it. It's pretty. I like it. You like it? I accidentally put my. Oh, that's okay. That's gonna be water in a minute, so we don't even worry about that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> These are really nice, guys. I like my waterfall. Do you like it? I'm. I like it too. I think it's beautiful. Good job. I like your moon, too. That's showing up really pretty back here. Okay, fan brush. Fan brush. Dirty fan brush. Okay, we're going to put our trees in up here. Then we're going to put in some more rocks. And then we're going to do some little pretty bushes. And then we'll clean it up down here and put in our pool of water. So fan brush and green. Load both sides in green. We're going to do tapping trees. This time I had loaded both sides of the fan brush. I have a lot of paint. You gotta have paint to paint. Load both sides of your fan brush. Okay, remember how to do tappy trees? Okay. You're holding your brush skinny like this, not wide like that, skinny like this. These are called, well, I call them tappy trees, and we actually tap it in. It's not a brush, it's a tap. 
Now, I don't want you going over here and digging up your waterfall because you don't want trees to live on top of the waterfall, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we're only going to have trees over here and then over here, okay? And it's a tap. I'm starting like this and I'm tapping, tap, tap, tap. They come down and kind of touch the rock. Tap, tap, tap. Tap them in. But don't go over your waterfall. You don't even have to actually have them live all the way to the edge right there. Keep them small and don't touch your moon either. So keep them kind of small. If you'll make the outside trees taller and they get a little shorter as they come in, that brings your eye into the painting. That's what you want. Um, that gives you more interest. And I don't know if you want to sell your paintings at home. That's one of the things we'll make it sell. It brings your eye into the painting. So they're a little bit taller on the outside. They come a little bit shorter on the inside that we don't dink up our waterfall. Right, guys? Okay. Right. Beautiful. Good trees. Good trees. <gasps> I love your trees. And you didn't touch your moon. I'm proud. Those are pretty. I didn't good use job. my waterfall either. I know. I'm so proud. You did so good. Those are pretty. Great. Nice trees. Good trees. Good trees. Really nice trees. Good job. Okay. Now, because our trees didn't quite touch where our rocks are, now back to your knife, palette knife. Some brown, a little bit of dirty white. Make sure you have that little marble bee color again. If it's got some blue in it, that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. trees are that just means all you gotta do is raise your rocks a little tiny bit that's how you're gonna fix that um, mine actually kind of touched in it so I'm gonna go back over my rocks that's how we're gonna fix that problem Michaela's is pretty much nice and so is Joshua's and so is yours good job um, okay but if you need to touch up the bottom all you're doing you're not gonna to totally go over and over your rocks all I'm doing is just kind of touching at the top part right there where I need to clean that up just clean it up a little bit if it needs it. You're going to have to put a little bit right here, honey, just to bring your rocks up a little bit to meet your trees. Oh, I think I need to do that. You want to do that too? Okay. Yeah, I Don't have some trees going past my... Past your rocks. rocks. Okay. Past the <laughs> clean them up. Don't do too much, though. You're just kind of touching. That's all you're doing. Um, I'm going to jump in here really quick, honey, right there, and just kind of dink with it right there real quick. Mm -hmm. There we go. And that one's going to come a tiny bit taller just so your waterfall is more big. There we go. Beautiful. Good job. Now we're going to, don't put your knife down. We're still going to do some more stuff. I'm going to fix yours real quick. I don't know if you can see this or not. Joshua, come right here so you can see it. Rocks are right coming. here, we kind of have a little boo-boo. His waterfall, the rock's not right in front of it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to fix it. I'm going to take the knife, a little bit more of his color that he had right here. And all I'm going to do is raise the rock up where it's coming. Now the waterfall is coming from back behind. That's how you fix it. There you go. Good job. Let me look at your rocks. <gasps> Those are so pretty. Good job. Some blue guys. I like the blue. So watch. Right here, I'm going to go whoosh and make one a little bit bigger. There you go. Good job. Okay. Well, we have more rocks, guys. We have a waterfall right here. Now listen, you don't have to have rocks all in here because we're going to have pretty bushes that live there. But we do have another rock that's going to be in front of our other waterfall. So back to your palette knife. So brown and white. Now watch. Guys, look at me real quick. Look at me, Katie. Okay, right here is where I'm putting the rock. 
Okay, all I'm doing is I'm touching right there and I'm putting a little rock right there. So now that waterfall is coming from behind the rock. But I'm not putting stuff up in there because I want pretty bushes there. Um, if you want another rock over here, you can. That's one of the nice things about whenever you're painting. This is your world. You can have as many rocks or as few as you want. If you want mostly bushes, have mostly bushes. If you want to change your colors, by all means, change your color. Make it suit yourself. This is, you're doing this to have fun and to express yourself, so please do that. I do think I might want another rock right there, though, so I'm going to pop on it. Now, you can have as many as you want. Your waterfall, this rock has to come right above that, remember? Yeah, bring it right up above that, right there. Make it come above that. Oh, good job. You got paint on your fingers? I always have paint on my fingers. Yeah, I know. We both do. That's because we're artists, isn't it? <laughs> and if you have as much fun as Caitlin does, you're going to like this. <laughs> Good job. That's wonderful. Good job. Good job. Nice rocks. Um, and you probably don't want any more. If you want more rocks, if you want one up there, have it. If you don't, you can just have bushes. That's entirely up to you. Have you got enough rocks, Caitlin? No. Huh? Yes? Yeah, I do. Now you do? Okay. Yeah. All right. Back to the big brush. Wipe it on a paper towel. Wipe your big brush on a paper towel. We're going to finish up our water before we put in our bushes. So we're removing the excess paint with a paper towel. Everybody still have white paint? A little bit of white? Um, mostly mine's brown and blue. Could I get a helper in the audience to give us a little bit of white paint? That would be great. And probably, Caitlin's going to call her mommy. <laughs> so it helps if you have a helper in the audience. But if you have white paint, take your big brush and go in one side, I'm loading. Quite a bit of white paint. I we need some too. Come on, please. Thank you. My white being a little bit blue. I tried to wipe my big brush. You did awesome. That's that's great. You did good. Okay, we're great. Now, water white paint. One side of your brush, lots of white paint. I'm gonna show you how to do the pool. We're gonna cut off our waterfall. Guys, look at me. Now watch, I'm holding my brush like this, not like that. This time it's wide like this, and I'm going to decide where my pool of water lives. I'm actually going to cut off my waterfall because I want my pool of water to be up there. Pull straight down, straight down. You can't have weird, odd strokes in water. Water has, there's certain ways you do water. This part you pull straight down, and then I'm going to show you how to make the reflection. So pull straight down with your big brush. All the way across, go to your edge. Pull straight down. Yep, just like that. Pretty high. It's good also. Let's see, here's Mikayla. Beautiful, huh? Don't keep dinking in it. Yeah, go right to your edge, right there. A little bit more, right there. All right. Now, after you have pulled straight down, after you pull straight down, now watch, same brush. Look at me, Caitlin. Okay, after you've pulled it straight down, I'm going to take the same brush, very lightly, don't push hard because it'll wipe it out. Very lightly, you're going to curl across just the part you pulled down. Now, like magic, you have all these pretty little reflections and it looks like water. Here we go, water. Go sideways. Sideways strokes, lightly. It's pretty. You're doing good. You guys are awesome. Oh, I love that. Look at his rock reflected in his water. That's beautiful. Caitlin, pretty. Go roll over it right there one time. Good job. Let's see, guys. Very pretty. Good. Oh, see? Look how pretty your reflections are. Yeah, don't keep digging in yours, Mikayla. That's beautiful. Okay. Big brush. Now, we're going to, because we already have green on our fan brush, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to do splashes for you at the end, okay? But what we're going to do now is we're going to do our little um, grasses or flowers. 
Big brush, wipe it on paper towel. Wipe it off. We're using yellow. This is a cad yellow light. Um, this would be pretty if you like pink. You could use some alizarin crimson with a little bit of white. You could use orange, whatever color of bushes or flowers that you want. Um, you can, we're just doing it today in yellow. Okay, I'm gonna take my big brush, I'm gonna tap and pull out, tap into a little bit of yellow, and I'm tapping my brush. I want a lot of paint on the end of my brush, right here. So actually, if your paint's right here, you're tapping into it, you're not doing this. I teach all the time, so I know what you're gonna do before you do it. So don't do this, it's a tap, tap, tap. You want the paint and the bristles, okay? Now, don't dink in your waterfall, right? We're not going to do that. Okay. We're not going to cover up our rocks. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, it's a tap. It's a really light little tap touch like that. I'm not going to. I'm not going to dink up my waterfall. I'm not going to cover up all of my rocks. All I'm doing is actually kind of just putting in a few little bushes to fill it in. Um, when you need to reload, then just reload. If you want some lighter ones, you can tap into a little bit of white. But it's a really light little tap, tap, tap. Don't go over and over it. Tap, tap. Beautiful, good job. There's my little flowers or grasses or whatever those are. Have one right there, sweetheart. Those are beautiful. All oh, the time those are pretty. Good job. Reload your brush and make them a little bit taller and a little bit lighter. Those are pretty, Joshua. You need a few more right here, so reload your brush and paint. Put paint on. I forgot to put rocks right Well, you don't have to have rocks right there. I think it's pretty. Let me help you load your brush. You're going to want some more, some more little grasses and flowers. Watch. It's a tap. Tap, tap, tap like that. Let me reload your brush. Okay, tap in some right there. Don't take any waterfall. And right there. Hang on your canvas so it doesn't walk around. Is it okay if I dink in? 